How did we get together? That's you. Okay. Well, basically, we got together, and then we, we were talking about like what kind of movies we wanted to make. Both of us said horror films. We started talking because I put something referring to Dawn of the Dead on Facebook. Hell, if it wasn't for Romero, I might have never even met Katie. Night of the Living Dead basically catapulted and started the horror culture. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Oh, no! I think Romero's whole concept of zombie was zombies were pretty was pretty amazing and it, it, it scares you on a really creepy primal level he's kind of this like really cool old hippie guy that says hey man it's all zombies man in recognition of the canadian citizenship of george a romero his status as a torontonian and his efforts to bridge understanding between the living and undead through the cinematic arts on behalf of the 2009 Toronto International Film Festival and the Toronto Zombie Walk Special Directors Cut Edition. Congratulations. Thank you. Not only is one of the great horror directors working in the city, but he is, you know, his citizenship is now Canadian and he is a Toronto filmmaker legitimately. Uh, it's just, it's just, uh, it's, it's just another way of having uh, the cult audience of horror films in Toronto kind of feel like they're, they're part of the real horror family. I mean, obviously, George Romero moved to Toronto, so there's got to be something that we got, so. <laughs> you have David Cronenberg lives here, and now we have, like, the godfather of the zombie. Like, we've got to be in, like, the mecca of horror. It's great for the community because I know that so many people in that horror community, people who work for Rue Morgue, people who work for the zombie walk, they're all in the latest Romero film. When I was watching it, I was like, I recognized all these zombies. It all just kind of builds this bigger community um, that, you know, really uh, gets into the thick of it. Well, it was the seventh annual uh, Toronto Zombie Walk where a bunch of uh, generally like-minded individuals come together and just be the undead for the day. Well, whenever the zombie walk happens, we have come to our place yeah. for the pre-zombie makeup party. Yeah. And uh, we make sure everyone goes out the door really well zombified. I love it when it gets prickly and you put your hoodie on and you can't get it off because it sticks. Can't put the t-shirt on because it sticks to my head. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of fun, scare random people who don't know what's going on and just shuffle through the city with fake blood all over the place. Like, both of us are madly obsessed with, like, just zombie makeup in general. And, like, any time where I can get an excuse to, like, dress up and in zombie makeup, I'm all for it. What happened is one day I just saw that she was uh, posting, she posted, uh, when, you know, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. It, like was a quote, I think it was that quote, right? And I was just like, Dawn of the Dead, sweet. And we just started talking from there. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, he talked a lot about like, horror and stuff, like horror movies, and I was really into them at the time, so like that's what we talked about a lot. Shut up. I've already promised to Katie if I was ever to be bitten by a zombie, she was to kill me right there on the spot. Aw, it's, it's romantic to me. Yeah, I know. I said I'd kill her too, even though she didn't want me to. I said I'd want to be free. So I made a little anatomical heart that became the ring box. I stuffed that inside my shirt, and I had it hid inside my jacket pocket for the entire walk. And I'm trying to keep this thing from falling over because of, it's not exactly closing properly, but you know, it did the job. So we're in line, we're waiting, and she's on the phone, and I start doing this. <laughs> and it's like, oh my god, oh my god, are you okay? I and did then, this. and then, yeah. And I pulled out the heart, and I had a speech prepared, and I completely forgot what I was gonna say, <laughs> so I just look at her and go, I don't even know what to say anymore, I just wanna spend the rest of my life with you. And I called him a douchebag.
said and done today, and by the authority of the province of Ontario, it is my honor and delight to declare you henceforth husband and wife. Our wedding was freaking awesome. Yeah. It was so much fun. Like, I think it's like going into it, I, I, I think both of us just hate weddings and like the traditional wedding. Apparently this happens on every Rom Romero film. There's a yeah. couple that comes out of it and they typically get married. I would just like to give him a huge thank you for what he's done over the years. I'd say, I'd probably say thank you for starting the zombie film. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have zombie films the way they are today. I don't know how much, how much like, like how accepted it would have been otherwise. He brought this stuff to, main, to the mainstream in a sense, and I don't know where we'd be without him. So, thank you. <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing. I, I, don't, I don't know, I wish I, could, I wish I could talk to you individually and find out why you do this. Because they're all asking me, all the reporters are saying, why do you think people do this? I'm going, I don't know. <laughs> Radio and television 